Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and to Bonfire Night here in the UK, our annual fireworks day. Um, so, yeah, it's a big, it's a big night here. My wife, who is an Irish Catholic, has always been a bit confused that our main national patriotic holiday um, involves celebrating the potential burning of Catholics and the destruction of a Catholic plot. But there you go. Um, you take your history where you find it sometimes, and 1605 seems a long time ago. Um, and that is quite amusing. Now, November the 5th is also a special day for Joe Darwo, who has contributed to the channel a number of times. And it's his birthday, and we congratulate him very much. And he sent us a puzzle to do for it. So I'm going to have a go at that. It's a between lines and crop key puzzle. Feel free to have a go, jump straight to it if you want. Um, now, I'm going to mention especially um, the ARG that has recently been going on, alternate reality game on the Discord server. Now, we are putting up a couple of ways to experience that for those who didn't. And it was a kind of elite crack team, a SWAT team of solvers who jumped all over it and absolutely nailed it quicker than anybody on the constructing team could have expected. Um, but I do want to thank the constructors who were um, Xeon Risk, Analytical Ninja, Chili, and, and Math Pesto, of course. That took a moment, sorry. Um, and Math Pesto, who between them created those unbelievable puzzles generally themed on Chaos Construction and Mobius strips. And then at our suggestion, we kind of asked, they sent these in and we said, these are a bit too hard for patron rewards. Why don't you get together and do an ARG? And, and they did. They totally embraced that. Months later, they had created this fantastic um, alternate universe with Hildegard. It's trying to get back from back to, back to the 12th century or somewhere. Oh, it's fantastic. It was so clever. And... Um, and encountering AI bots. Oh, it's, for, it's just amazing. We're putting up a couple of links under the video in which you can either see what happened or experience the whole ARG from the beginning yourself. So um, very well, if you have some time to invest in that or you just want to see these incredible puzzles, um, think about that. Also, of course, under the video, we have links to our Patreon site where Solver in Sudoku land is now your chance to solve a slightly more easy Sudoku hunt. Um, it's not easy, it's just more easy by Demono, and it's a brilliant story. Um, or our apps where, again, you can take a bit more bite-sized pieces of Sudoku out of those um, and they're well worth it. Sven Sudoku pads there and our merchandise. But do check it all out. But the first link is to this puzzle, Dotween by Jodawo. I think Dotween... He, he thought of the idea of combining dots and between lines and just loved the title and then determined he had to do it. So here is the result. Now, normal Sudoku rules apply. That's one to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box. Um, digits along a between line must have a value between the numbers of the num between the values of the numbers in the circles. So if you had, say, three and six in those circles, one. Well, let's say we had three there and six there. These would have to be a four and a five because they're the only numbers in between three and six. Um, a black crocky dot indicates a ratio of one to two between its digits. One is half the other. And a white crocky dot indicates that the two digits on it are consecutive. Those are the rules. There's not necessarily all the dots given. Give it a try. I'm going to start now. Let's get cracking. Now, I mean... Jodawo has set some very difficult and very hard to start puzzles for the channel. But this run of three black dots is encouraging because I think the central one has to be two or four. And here is a lovely fact about between lines that will help us, will help us dramatically in box five I've just seen. One and nine can never appear on a between line because they can't be between in the case of one, a lower digit, or nine, a higher digit, and anything else. So in the central box, that's one and nine, but we can't put nine on a black dot. So we're literally away here. This has to be a two, four, eight triple now. And here we go. This is very unlike Jadawa. It's probably all going to end in a welter of uh, 
difficulty and recriminations. We can't put 5-7 on a black dot, so that's a 3-6 pair. They're connecting to 3-6 outside the box. They're leaving a 5-7 residue inside the box. And there we go, we've got loads of the central thingy done. And actually this must be a 1-9 pair to enclose 2 and 8. The 9 is touching 8s. That can't be a 9 on the line, so it's a 7. The 1 is touching 2s on the black, and that can't be a 1. Oh, hang on. Yeah, it can't be a 1, so it's a 4. Yeah, that's okay. And here we go. This is the start we get now. Now this line has 3, 4, and 6 on it, but we can't put a 2 on it because those 2s see both the circles. So then, oh, and we also can't put 7 or 8 on it. Look at that. So this is a 1, 9 circle line as well. What about this one? Can we do that? This digit can't be 4, 5, 7. Well, we've got to have something from 1, 2, 3 and something from 8 or 9. No, I don't know that I can fill in those circles. Okay, for now I'm just going to put those digits in and then eliminate the obvious and think about that later. Wow, I mean this is very Unjodawo like to give us this much. 19248 there, so the other digits in the column are 3, 5, 6 and 7. This is another centre of three digits that all see each other. Ah, oh, I have to be a little careful. I was about to write a 4 in there, but it could be a 2 this time with a 1 that wasn't on a line. So that is 2 or 4. These are, this is 1, 2 or 4 because it can't be an 8. This one can't be a 1, so that's 2, 4 or 8. And that means these must ascend that way round. Yeah, this can't actually be a 4, because that would be a 2, but that's not allowed to be a 1. I must be able to eliminate one of these. If that was a 2, that would be a 4, and this is impossible. There we go. So one of these is now a 4 on this dot, and one of these is a 2, so that takes 2 out of that cell. I'm, I'm actually going to just corner mark those 2 and 4. Um, now, if this was a 4-2 pair, we'd need a 1. I've just noticed there's a 1-9 pair there and another one there. That's interesting. What does that do? I don't know. But 2 can't be in those cells, so one of these is a 2. And that's an X-wing, because one of these is a 2 as well. That's going to use up the 2s in boxes eight and nine, uh, 7 and 8. So we can't have two there. So one of these is a two. If it was on the line, one of the circles would have to be a one and it would have to be that one. Can't see why not. Oh, two I've got looking at that cell. That's very straightforward. And one of these is a two. We're getting all sorts of positions for twos in the grid. One of these is a two. I can't rule it off the white dot. There's an eight in one of those two. Uh, now we've got eight, nine, two, three, six. So the rest of the, that row is one, four, five, seven. The rest of this row is four, five, seven, nine. 8 has to be in one of those cells. Not very useful. Perhaps I should not be surprised that this is all slowing up a bit. Now, if that was an 8, that could be anything it liked, apart from 9. If that was a 4... Oh, that's quite interesting. If that was a 4, which would put 2 and 1 there, this would have to be a 3. You'd have three, four, two, one. You'd need a one here as well. Ah, in fact, if this is a one. Oh, this is interesting. If this is a one, that's a two. 
this line needs a 1 in a circle and that's 1, so these would be the same. If that's a 2, by Sudoku that's a 2, so those two are definitely the same either way, and that is 1 or 2. And if they're 1s, that's a 9, and that's a 1. I'm not sure where that's going. Ah, these whites need an even number, which is not 2 or 4. Well, hang on, it could be a 2 there, but this white dot needs an even number on it, which is either 6 or 8. So this digit also is from that same... No, we can't have 9 on a line, remember, Mark? So now, one of these needs to be higher than whatever this pair is. And this needs to be higher than this number. So that is 6, 7, 8 or 9. We're getting a lot of the high digits put in. Ooh, come on. 2 is now in one of those two cells in the box. And so is 1, because remember, we've got a 1, 9 pair here. So that is a 1, 2 pair. This is the low digit. This one is higher than those two. So it's at least 7. And in fact, this is a triple, isn't it? It, it goes around the corner. Ah, oh, that's lovely. This can't be a 9, because this would be 9, 8, 7. You'd have a 7 here, and you couldn't put a higher digit there. Is this going to end up being a 9 whatever? Yes, it is, because now it's the only place for 9 in the box. Remember the 1, 9 pair, looking at those. That's a 9. Now this relationship is basically complete. I can't really do anything else with that line. But these two are interesting. One, two. So there's a 3 in one of these cells. I've just just noticed. This is either 5, 6, 7 or 6, 7, 8 as a triple. So it definitely involves 6 and 7. So these digits are from 3, 5 and 8. That's all they can possibly be. And one of them is a 3. Um, that hasn't really got me going. Right, let's think about the... Ooh, if that was a 6, that's very powerful here. So if that was a 6, this is a 7-8 pair. And that would be a 6. OK, then we'd have 6s in all of these positions. Let's just keep thinking about these 6s that would materialise as a result. Impossible. That's lovely. Right, let me explain that again. How did that actually work? Right. If this was a 6, I mean, this is a bit complicated, actually, but I, I like it anyway. If this was a 6, that would be an 8-7 pair. They would have to join to a 6 here. But this being a 6 makes this a 3 and this a 6. Now, 6 is in one of these two cells in box 2, and there is nowhere for it to go in column 3. Isn't that lovely? Because those two cells see that cell, this one sees that one, and this one sees that one. But we have to put a 6 somewhere in column 3. So, this is not a 6, and that disambiguates the 3s and 6s in the central box. Uh, we get a 6 in column 3 now, so these ones don't have to have one. We've also got that 3, not that helpful. This 3 takes 3 out of this cell. So if this is low, it has to be a 1, then that would be a 9. Not sure. Yeah, not sure what's going on there, so... Hmm... Never done anything with this three, five, six, seven set. I've got this black pair. They can't be a one, two now. Mm, 
that's not very helpful. Or, ooh. No, I can't see how to use that. Three, six there. Five, six, oh, now. So Jodawo's challenge has stiffened up considerably. Five in column three has to be in one of those two cells, which is surprising, but true. This, if that's an eight, this has to be a nine. Then we'd have nine, eight, four, two, seven. Can't see the problem. Wow, where am I meant to go next? Four, two, three, one, nine. I don't know, don't know what these are. Don't know what those are. What about this pair? Let's have another look at this pair in row two. That is down to five, six or seven just by Sudoku. We've got those X wing on twos. If that was a two, this can't be a one, so that would be a one, and that would break this cell. You can't have two one there without breaking that. So this is where two goes in box nine, and therefore this is now a one, and that's a two. Then we've got a two in one of these cells. It cannot be on the line because you can't put one in either circle. Can it be there? Well, we've got an X. I knew that X wing was coming. Okay, that doesn't help. One there. That's not a one. Now, this pair doesn't have a one or a two on it now. If it's four, eight, that can't be four because of this pair. So it would be four, eight that way round, and that is possible, but it could be a three, six pair. Two, one, six, this can't be four. Three, five, seven, eight, or nine. So what's going on this line? Not a one or a nine. Right, where do one and nine go in this box? Look at those, rule out those. Look at this line, they're ruled out. So one of these, that is a one nine pair, and this becomes an eight. It's the high digit, this is now low, one or three on its line. I can't believe I still haven't got these circles after all that. Now there's no eight there, so there is a six in those two. That's the even digit. This one is now not a six. This is either five, six, with a seven there, or six, seven, oh, and that could be five or eight, depending which way around it goes. But six is there, so this is five or seven in the column. Now, if it was seven, that would have to be eight or nine. And that would force this not to be an eight. So if this was seven, you'd then have four, two, one over this side. Oh, this is just three, four, five, or six by Sudoku. That doesn't really help. One, I mean, we're back to the normal situation. One of these is low and one of them is high, and that's... My, uh, yeah, no, it's not that helpful. The high one has to be over five, and the low one has to be below six. That's not telling me anything, is it? Oh, hang on, nine and one. Nine's in one of those cells, one's in one of those. Eight could be anywhere there. Two, eight, three, six seems to have to be in one of these, which probably doesn't help, but I haven't noticed it before. One, nine, two, these are from three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if that was a three, six pair,
Mm, I don't know. Okay, let's think about this line, because that one's trying to help and I'm just not kind of finding the way through. Oh, let's mark this up. This is five, six, eight or nine, because it's the high end of this line. Oh, that can't be a one. So there's only one place for one to go in the whole of row eight, and it's there. And we know from the purpling that that puts one here. Two, four, right. That's good. Oh, this does become a three in the corner. That's three in the corner. That's three in the spot. Light losing its religion. Um, one, two, four, three, seven. So these other cells are from five, six, eight, nine. But these can't be eight or nine, which is in one of that pair. So they're a five, six pair. So that is now three or four. This is also three or four, but we need a lower digit than, wow, it could, no, if that was a four, these would both have to be, no, sorry, okay, what I'm going to say is this can't be the low digit, because the only way it could be the low digit on this line is if it was a three, that would be a four, and you couldn't fill in this cell, that's lovely. So this is the higher digit, it's not three, and it's not five, this is the lower digit, and I don't think it can be seven or five or even four. It has to go lower than this, so it's a one. And that, I thought that was finally going to do these one nine pairs, but it doesn't touch them. Ah. Um, this is higher than that. That's three or four. So this is using up. This is a virtual three, four pair because either three or four is on this black dot and they're both therefore used in these three cells. So that's not three. This isn't four. That makes this definitely have to be three. These are from five, six, seven, eight. That could still just undershoot. Oh, well, even if it was a five. Sorry, no, that's not good thinking. Um, three, four, used up. One, two. So this is five. Oh, this is only six or nine as a possibility at all. Because of the three, four being used up down here. It also sees one, two, eight, and a five, seven pair. Now, if that was six, we would be going four, eight, three, five seven, nine. So if that was a six, the start of this sequence would be seven, five, nine, six. If it's a nine, then the six in the column is down here. And this goes six, three, four, nine. And I don't think it's so obvious how five, seven, eight works. Bother. Five, four, seven, eight have been used there. Oh, this has to be a one, three, two triple over here now. One, two, three there. I'd never spotted that quadruple, but it exists. This is part of a six, nine pair, and that is not nine. Now that's a five, seven, eight triple, and this is three. Oh, brilliant. This is good, Jodawo. So that's a four, that's a nine, that's a six. And that leaves the five, seven, eight triple intact. Now, these are from 578. We've got a 578 triple here as well. That gives me a quad in this line, which tells me there's only one place for six in row eight. That says there's no six there. I can't believe these are still not done. I might be missing something now. Three, nine, eight, one, two in column four has been here for ages. I hadn't seen it. Eight, one, that one has fixed all of those nines and ones that I was moaning about before. This is a three as well. They're purple. I shouldn't have colored them purple because it's blinded me to see what they're actually saying ever since I did that. This is now a four, five pair. Oh, can that be low on this line? Only if that was a four and that was a five. What is this? This is four, five, six, or seven as well. This is really interesting. Right, one of these is lower than that. 
and the one that is lower has to be a four and that has to be a five. That's hilarious. So we've got a five here. Now, that, this one, we know which way this line ascends and descends. So that's not a seven. There is a seven in one of those cells. So that, none of these are seven. And this one isn't even a five, so it's a three. Um, that's not a five. I still don't know which one of these is low, which one of these is a four. These aren't fives, just Sudoku. Oh, goodness. Um, what's this pair? Not a one, two pair. Could be three above two, but it can't use four or five. Oh, and it can't be selected from six, seven, and eight, because that would give us four, six, seven, eights in the same box, which is impossible. So it is three above two. Wow. That's another beautiful late step in a puzzle. So one, two gets fixed. One is there in the corner. One, three, four, two, nine. These are from five, six, seven, eight. That forms a quad with those two. So I can fill in four and nine. This is six, seven, or eight. And it's not seven, because seven is one of those two on the white dot. So seven is one of those two, and that's not seven. This one isn't eight. That one has to be eight. Two, one, six. This is not eight or nine. That's seven. That's five. That's five. That's seven. Here we go. We can place seven there. I can finish the column with a five. That's three or four. No, it's four. We've got a three in the corner, remember. I uh, can't do those. This is nine. These are eight and seven in order. So I'm placing seven in that box. That fixes this as eight. I finally get the white dot sequence there done. And I think we're going to follow that around the grid and finish off. That is a spectacular bit of fireworks, actually. This can't be four or five on its line now. It has to be higher than this, so it's nine. That's neat in its own right. That nine fixes eight and nine down here as if those hadn't already done it. They had. Five and six there are done. That's a five. Let's nip across the grid and do the last bits in box six. That's a four, that's a seven, and then eight and seven. Yes, there we go. That is a good puzzle. Ooh, it's existed for a long time, but it's a good puzzle. It deserves to be seen. Nice stuff, Jadawo, and very happy birthday to you. Thank you for sending it. And I uh, hope to see you guys again soon. Tomorrow would be a great date. Um, we'll see you then, and thanks for watching. Bye for now.